If I could summarize my experience at IU in one word, it would be empowering. Impactful. Exciting. Resilience. The word would be impact. One word that I think was so important to my time here at IU is saying yes. I'm super grateful and happy to say that I've been really involved in a variety of student-led organizations throughout my four years at IU. Um, but there are two that really stand out to me. The first of which is the Indiana Daily Student. I have so much to thank the IDS for, both in my professional growth, but also my personal growth. I also am super involved with the Michael I. Arnold Center for Investigative Journalism. I've partnered with professional news organizations like USA Today, Great Television, the Associated Press, um, to conduct national level professional investigative journalism, which I really feel like is just unprecedented for someone just graduating college. There's actually many student involvement experiences I've enjoyed here at IU, uh, but the ones that come to mind is first off working uh, with student veterans here on campus as uh, president of the Student Veterans of America chapter here on campus and just having the opportunity to interact with other veterans who are going through a similar cycle of going in the military, serving four years, five years, three years, whatever it is, and then trying to integrate back into the civilian life. So I think one of the clubs I was the most involved with was the Dean's Advisory Council for the School of Education. That was like a really good experience. I learned a lot from it and it got me really connected within the School of Education. Um, the club aims to advocate for undergraduate students. So that's like its main purpose is kind of acting as a bridge between the undergraduates and the administration. Um, so we had a lot of events that were really cool, like we did Cookies in Canvas, where we invited all the deans to eat cookies with us in the atrium of the School of Ed, and we painted, and it was just an opportunity for the students to get to know the deans and the deans to get to know the students. I'm heavily involved in the Model United Nations team at Indiana University. Um, last year, I had the opportunity to serve as Secretary General. So um, we're technically a nonprofit, so our, our job is to you know, give educational opportunities to students on campus and we also extend that opportunity to high schoolers and we organize our own um, conference for them and so we've got kids coming in from all over Indiana, the Midwest, um, sometimes other parts of North America competing at this uh, three-day conference um, and it's just a really rewarding experience. I used to attend the conference at IU when I was in high school so it was a full circle moment for me. The student involvement that I am most proud of being involved with it would definitely be the students for New Game World. Um, the biggest thing we realized was how you didn't have a climate action plan, which was putting us behind our peers in the Big Ten. So what we sought to do was to help pressure IU to actually commit to a climate action plan. So we did a lot of protesting, a lot of demonstrations, and we ended up succeeding in getting IU to create a climate action plan and committee, and then eventually the climate action plan we have today. Some of my favorite um, experiences getting involved on campus involved collaborating with other schools, and one of my favorite experiences was leading a group as we collaborated with Fairview Elementary School, choreographing a ballet to an original composition by Jacob School Music Composers to a story that was written by the third grade students that we performed for. So by far, uh, my favorite professional and academic uh, experience here at IU has been with the consulting workshop. And with that, I also got the opportunity to participate in case competitions. My favorite experience by far is having the opportunity to go to Hong Kong for one of these case competitions where we competed against uh, a dozen other international schools, which was an absolute incredible experience. Yeah, so as an education student, definitely my favorite experiences are always when I get to go into the classroom. Um, and I've had, I had lots of experiences with that throughout my time at IU. Right now, I'm doing my student teaching in a first grade classroom in Indianapolis Public Schools and that's been such a wonderful experience. I love the kids, I'm learning so much. I think I always learn, like you can get very prepared in the, like, in the classroom at college, but what you learn when you're actually there with real students is um, just really important and really valuable. Outside of the classroom, I am a research assistant for Dr. Vanessa Cruz Nichols in the political science department and her research work primarily concerns uh, Latinx uh, political issues, electoral processes, and immigration politics. As part of being her research assistant, we went over to DC and conducted interviews with immigration organization leaders, and we asked them specifically about their communication strategies um, that they use to 
talk to senators on the Hill, Congress people on the Hill when they need to pass legislation regarding undocumented children, uh, dreamers, uh, ensuring public policy benefits to those people. And I found it to be a really rewarding experience. I have an immigrant background myself. So um, being able to relate to them and see the work that they're doing was just really fulfilling. Um, and I was, I was proud to be a part of it. So as a journalist, I hope I leave a legacy of curiosity and empathy. I want to be remembered for having been brave enough to ask the hard questions, but having been kind enough to listen when people wanted to give me the answers. If anyone remembers me, I just would hope they'd say that, oh, he was kind. The biggest and most lasting quality I want anyone to ever say about me is that I was kind. One thing I really want um, to leave at IU is just this lineage of saying yes to as many opportunities as you can. You know, I tell every student coming in, go to your classes and talk to your professors, form a relationship with them because there's so many people here and there's so many free resources that want to help you and you should really just take advantage of them while you're here.